Hi, my name is uh, Steve Wiviat. I'm a cardiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston uh, and uh, a senior investigator with the Timmy Study Group. I'm here at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions in Chicago. Uh, we are representing the primary results of the DECLARE Timmy 58 trial. Uh, DECLARE uh, is a uh, randomized trial of an SGLT2 inhibitor, dapagliflozin, in patients uh, <coughs> with diabetes and uh, established uh, cardiovascular disease or patients at risk for cardiovascular disease, so both primary and secondary prevention. Uh, this uh, trial uh, was done because patients uh, with diabetes are at high risk for both the development of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and heart failure, and also uh, complications uh, of those uh, illnesses when they occur. Uh, so this study involved 17,160 patients. About 10,000 of those patients were primary prevention. About 7,000 of those patients uh, were secondary prevention. Uh, they were randomized uh, to 10 milligrams of dapagliflozin or placebo and followed for 4.2 years. Uh, we had a safety, uh, a primary safety outcome, which was uh, to demonstrate that it did not increase the risk of major adverse cardiovascular outcomes. Uh, and we had co-primary efficacy endpoints, uh, cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure, uh, and also uh, MACE uh, for efficacy. Uh, what we saw uh, was uh, that the uh, dapagliflozin reduced hemoglobin A1C. It also uh, reduced uh, body weight by about two kilograms uh, and uh, reduced blood pressure. Uh, this uh, ultimately translated to a reduction of the primary endpoint of cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure uh, by about 17 percent. Uh, this was highly st statistically significant uh, and was driven by a significant reduction of about 27 percent in the hospitalization for heart failure component. Uh, from the MACE standpoint, uh, we demonstrated that the drug was safe. It did not increase a major adverse cardiovascular events. Uh, but we did not see a statistically significant reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events either. Uh, with only one of the two co-primary endpoints being uh, favorable, uh, the other outcomes uh, would be considered hypothesis generating. Uh, but one of the other key outcomes was we saw redu robust uh, reductions uh, in uh, renal composite uh, endpoints, uh, suggesting a delay in the progression uh, of renal disease. So the key uh, takeaway messages uh, from this uh, trial uh, were that uh, dapagliflozin was safe. Uh, it did not uh, seem to increase uh, adverse events uh, that, were, uh, pre that there was previously concern about, like strokes or uh, amputations. Uh, and it was effective particularly in reducing uh, heart failure events. Uh, this uh, extends the uh, benefit of this class of agents uh, from the secondary prevention realm, patients already with established cardiovascular disease, uh, to patients also in primary prevention, those, those at risk, which is a much bigger population of patients. Uh, we also uh, tried to put these data in the context of the uh, current uh, understanding of SGLT2 inhibitors. We did a meta-analysis of the three large outcomes trials uh, with SGLT2 inhibitors, and we began to see some fairly uh, consistent results. And with that, we saw that there was a, really a modest reduction in major adverse uh, cardiovascular events, ischemic MACE, uh, which seems to be confined to those patients in secondary prevention. Uh, but we did see that there were robust reductions in heart failure related and kidney related events that did not depend on whether the patient was a primary or secondary prevention patient, whether the patient had pre-existing heart failure or not, uh, or other baseline features. Uh, so overall, from a clinical standpoint, uh, there uh, is uh, emerging and strengthening data uh, about this class of drugs, these SGLT2 inhibitors. Uh, that seem to be uh, fairly potent in patients with diabetes and risk factors or patients with diabetes and established disease in preventing important uh, cardiovascular events. So it, it seems that uh, we as cardiologists and our diab diabetes col colleagues should be thinking about the use of these drugs earlier in disease uh, with the potential to prevent uh, important outcomes. Thank you.